Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. So today in this video, we're going to talk about Artifactory. Why do we need it? Its usage, advantages and several other aspects. Also, very interesting topic on how to integrate Jenkins with JFrog. So guys, let's get started. So if you can see on my screen, why an Artifactory? But in order to understand that, we need to know what is an artifact. So an artifact is any software asset that is connected to or part of a software project. So artifacts are normally binary packages and used to characterize or describe the function, architecture and design of the application. And common types of artifacts are images, executables, data models, libraries, use cases and of course the compiled application binary. When we say compiled application binary, we can say like a jar file or a war file or an air file. So that's what an artifact is. Now the second thing is artifact management options. So these artifacts needs to be stored and shared with the developers on that project. Some possible solution include a shared drive, a source control management tool or an artifact management repository. A shared drive has limitations included limited version control and no artifact deployment capability. So we do not generally need that. And when we talk about a source control management tool, then it's really only designed for managing source code like text file and your code and not complex artifacts like large binaries or docker images etc. So that's why we do not take these options into consideration. Next is all your quality consistency and accountability or audibility you can say. See, see all the other artifacts needs to be consistently managed, versioned and deployed across development teams and sometimes across multiple sites to ensure quality, reliability, audibility, accountability, etc. This is where things get tough. And then when the tough gets going, an artifact repository is specially designed to store version and deploy different types of artifacts for build from a central location and offers the best solution for this ever growing artifact management problem. If you look around, you probably already have several ways to manage your artifact, but it's likely they're inconsistent with either, each other. And that's where JFrog Artifactory comes into play. So JFrog is a company and it's a product of JFrog and it's an artifactory which takes care of your all the compiled binaries and we'll see in an example and how to use it. For the other part, we'll integrate it with Jenkins. So how do we do it? The first thing is, is we need a JFrog plugin to do JFrog integration with Jenkins and that we'll see in a demo. This integration allows you to add extra steps to your Jenkins file. So when you create a Jenkins file, it will allow you to add a few extra things. And then once build is completed, the artifact that you created will be sent to JFrog. And from there, can be configured to do a usage for the branch of your choice, or generally what we do is we, we can choose a branch like develop branch or master branch. And we do not do for feature branch in, in most, most of the cases. And branch can change depending on your workflow or everything else. So guys, I hope you have understood till here. Let's dive into the demo part. So let's go to our favorite browser and type JFrog Artifactory over there. Hit enter. You will be shown a few options. Click on the first option. I'll open it in a new tab. Just right click, open it. It can take some time and you will see the website has been opened. There's an option start for free. Click here. This is an official repository or official website, you can say. There are two options, cloud and self-hosted. Let's see what we have in cloud. We have AWS option, Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure. So you can download if you are configuring in any of these. But what we will do is we'll click on self-hosted because we'll, doing, we'll be doing on self-hosted. So it is a 30 free day trial and it's not free for lifetime. So it will give you an option to enter. Let me accept all the cookies. Now it will give you an option to edit your name, your last first name and last name, your email ID, your company. I'll give the email ID later because I don't want to make it public. In company, you can write anything. Like it's not mandatory to write your company. I'll write self-dependent. You can write freelancer or anything. And phone number, you can write anything. I'll not write it because I am not comfortable in that. I'll just fast forward it. I've filled all the details. Make sure you have written your email ID. 
and click on start for free after agreeing to the general terms and service. Once done, it will show you a message of success. You can read that your registration was completed successfully. We have sent a configuration message to the email address you provided. Welcome to JFrog. Click on get started and look at your email. Look at the junk or spam as well. So this is a prototype of what a mail looks like. It will come from service at tradejfrog.com. It says, Dear Ravish, thank you for choosing, etc, etc. The first one is the link. So download and install the JFrog platform. Second is the username and password that it gives. And make sure you check the junk part of your email because it can go there. In the third option, we have the most important thing is the JFrog Artifactory license key and JFrog X-Ray license key. It will be used later. And below you can say that it is 30, free, uh, 30 days trial period and it will end on July 19th, which is just a month after. So you can uh, copy these and keep it separately. Let's go to our Jenkins dashboard and click on manage Jenkins. Click on manage plugins, go on available and type artifactory. Now here we will learn how to integrate artifactory with Jenkins. As it appeared over here, Click on the option checkbox and install without restart. I have fast forwarded it to save your time and once it's done, just have to click on restart Jenkins when installation is complete. It will take some time to restart. Once done, click on sign in. And now what we'll do, we'll confirm that whether the plugin has changed anything or not. So on your left, go to manage Jenkins. Once done, click on configure system. And once it opens, there will be a lot of options. So you just have to scroll down. You can do control F and type for artifactory for the fast results, but I'll just show you the options. And you can see that JFrog option is available over here. And use the credential plugin. There are other options as well over here. So this is the first step of integrating it with Jenkins. Now, there are many things that needs to be done and this is just part one and we'll do the part two as well after this video. So if you have understood, then we'll just move forward to part two. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.